and making your stir fry, Lisa. So here is the chicken. just dribbles out so that about coats the bottom oh come on started. I know you probably won't call it a lovely day if you're out in it, but I'm quite grateful for this weather because, as you know, the last few years we've been so dry and it's still raining we just just keep having one weather system off to the other of rain which is brilliant because we need it so badly so I now have all that's cooking all of the vegetables to chop so I've got four cloves of onion and garlic. It's still much milder. Still, of course, you know, but it's so much milder than it should be all across the UK. But I think that farmers are going to be quite happy. Now I need four cloves of garlic, and I've got some nice sized. I like these cloves. I got elephant garlic one year and I loved it. It has a much sweeter flavour, but of course that wouldn't taste the same with this. It's interesting how different onions have different flavours, different garlic has different flavours. interesting couple of comments. YouTube can be so funny. Uh, one person who is going absolutely mad over things told someone that I never care about nachos. So of course I have all of these pans and the flour and I'm practicing the tortilla recipe because I don't care about nachos. I just made it up. 
And another person said that I don't have time to cook. And no wonder I don't have... It's, apparently, she thought I said I don't have time to cook. I told Jenny that I don't have... If I had more time to cook anything, that I would be making her recipes again. I keep wanting to do that, and I don't have the time because I'm baking so many other things. So this person said, you don't have time to cook because you're commenting here. Just trying to, you know, trolls. And I just laughed. I said, so... All of my, most of my videos, including my most recent one, are cooking, but I don't have time to cook. I think sometimes YouTube can be as good a while. I don't know why people still have reality telly shows that they seem to still have. I see them suggested to me for some reason on channel 4. You don't need it. Just go to YouTube. <laughs> it is funny. So, I do that for lots. Kicks and giggles. But most difficult thing people are finding to get their heads around is the fact that I'm not here to get lots of subscribers and be monetized. I don't care about that. I, this has never been what my videos are about. It's just showing you guys what I'm doing. And so YouTube did, did ask me, I think it was about the third video of YouTube sent me a message and asked me what they could do to help me reach more people and get monetized and I said nothing, stay out of it, I'm not interested. Didn't come here for that. They got it, they accepted it, moved on, went on the way. But other people just can't seem to get their head around it. Never mind. Carrot. And I just posted one. Didn't realise I hadn't posted for a couple of weeks, but that's because I wasn't feeling well. So we, well, you know, we're going through the same. But I just always tell them I don't have any interest. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't care about, you know, they, they tell you be regular, post as often as possible, try to post on the same time at the same day, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, not interested. I'll do what I want, when I want. Thank you. Some people are just chasing as many viewers as they can get, as many subscribers as they can get, and I I actually have a life, but <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend my time worrying about engagement with my videos. I don't care. So,
printed out the ingredients and the recipe because the person I got this recipe from wanted something where I didn't need to use any sauce and I can't find my other recipe. You remember the Yorkshire puddings I made for you last year, I think it was. I can't find that recipe. So many recipes are missing and I have a file box of recipes so I don't know what's happening but I couldn't find my recipe so I went up on YouTube and found another one. I'll have to try to see where that was so that I can do a link to her video. Now I've got something new. That's not correct. I that I've got something new. Purple carrots that will add a little colour and just be kind of interesting. So I'm going to have to peel those. So I'll pause this for a few minutes. Okay, purple carrots peeled, and now I'll slice them. I've turned down the chicken so that it won't get overly done. We still have a long way to go. going to be so crunchy. My knives are just not holding their edge anymore. So, I will get new knives, but probably not until summer, because Steffi agreed to, to go in store and get them for me, because you can't have knives delivered. And I can't get to the shop where they sell the ones that I want. So, I'll ask her in summer because at the moment the weather is thankfully abysmal. It's, I'm hoping that we'll might actually even see snow. That would be fabulous. slice them. I've got them peeled. Oh, actually I can slice them and freeze them later. That's what I'll do for another time. Olya and her family don't eat meat, so I'll be making a tofu stir fry for them. And here are the garlic, I mean the, the broccoli florets. Many of these will also go in the freezer because I'm obviously not going to use all of for your dinner, but I will use some. I 
Okay, now let's do this. And I'll freeze these later. I'll be looking at possibly making a fortress soup as well. videos and she peeled her ginger using the edge of a spoon which I thought was brilliant. I've always struggled with doing that with a knife and always wasting most of the ginger. So, oh that is easy. That is so easy. Alarm was going off. Mm, fresh ginger has such a lovely smell. So I'm just kind of scooping at the ginger and just kind of running the spoon along it like that and it just takes the skin off absolutely none of the ginger itself is being wasted brilliant for a couple of spoonfuls. We'll see. But if I need to do more, I can just pause the video because you don't need to watch any more of that. But see how it just takes the skin off and you can see that there's no ginger wasted. So let's now just slice and dice some ginger. is just, I mean, fair enough, this was a 
about 20 years ago, I purchased one of those wooden blocks of kitchen knives from Asda for a fiver. And they've lasted this long. If they're finally dead, well, fair enough. Yeah, it's, they've had long innings for something like that, just being cheap kitchen knives from Asda. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll need to dice more, I think, because I think they said two. Got it. Ginger, one and a half teaspoons. Well, actually, that looks about right then. Not that right the first go. Bring it. Now, I'll turn this back up. And get this going. So I need cornstarch. Oops, I didn't bring in the cornstarch. Well, I've got gluten free, maybe I better do. Oh, I didn't have it. Okay. really smell the sesame in there. Okay, and then chicken stock, quarter cup. I used salt-free chicken stock because soy sauce does tend to have a lot of salt in it. Teaspoons. There we are. <laughs> Two. 
to chili sauce, so I'll just use light soy sauce. Kind of balance it out a bit. Okay. Oh, it's smelling so lovely and the vegetables are so colorful. When I dish this up, it's going to be gorgeous. Okay, and now two tablespoons of the corn flour. So I'm just going to get two big dollops of corn flour. And that is going to mix with the liquids to make a slurry. with lovely things so I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed 
cooking it. See you later.